One fine morning in the midst of a pitching workshop at Habib University, one of my students came up to me and asked, it's really easy for you to say, do this, do that, try this, try that, but it's not that easy for us to follow. Can you please give us an example of a pitch all the way from the beginning to the end? This lecture was recorded in response to that request. The objective of today's session is to do a practice try run for your pitches and I thought it would be useful to start it off by doing a short exercise. And the short exercise is that I'll start with a pitch for my business, for one of my businesses and we'll see how that pitch improves. So I'll ask some of you to grade it and score it. Uh, all of you are more than welcome to score it and grade it. Um, uh, and then we'll see how we can better it. So my name is Javad Ahmed Farid and I run financetrainingcourse.com and at financetrainingcourse.com we teach finance. Um, you know, financetrainingcourse.com, financetrainingcourse.com, what do you expect? Finance. Uh, and finance is a difficult subject, a lot of people have challenges with it. Um, a lot of people are very quickly So I thought, ke, we thought when we started doing this that it would be useful to put together a resource that people would enjoy, um, that they would like, that they would learn stuff. And uh, you know we get uh, uh, we get almost uh, uh, close to seven hundred thousand page views, so about fifty to sixty thousand page views a month, uh, and we get about thirty to forty thousand visitors a month. So for mil jala ke sab mila jala ke even about six four lakh visitors a year ke jaate hain, about seven lakh visitors, seven lakh page views per year ho jaate hain, and we do about a few thousand dollars in sales. So that's my pitch. Haan ji, batai. Score it and rank it. And uh, this is, you know, every element is uh, thus point. And within uh, these 10 points, you can see the uh, problem definition ke das number hai, crisp, present, crisp, crisp and sharpness ke das number hai, appeal, relevance, would I buy it, and voice of the customer. So score it. Don't be shy. Figure na kare, I won't hold it against you. Be honest, truthful, and. and um, frank and brutal so assign it a score from between 0 to 60 and feel free to give it a 0 if you think it wasn't appropriate that it didn't score that you wouldn't be very you wouldn't be very keen on hearing it Alina, Huda, Harim and uh, Hassan, Heather you guys are absolutely right this is a really crappy, pathetic terrible, terrible pitch I should be shot for even trying to Attempt it. All right, this is pitch number one. Right? Pitch number one is terrible. But what is wrong with it? What is the biggest thing that's missing? It's not appealing, right? Do you have a sense of what I do or what we do? So pitch number one is essentially, let's give it a zero. If I was grading this and I was on the other side, I would give myself a big fat zero, right? So we to that we are relevant. So. Hello, my name is Javad Ahmed Farid and I build computation finance models for the for the world uh, and this is based essentially on the work that we've done over the last 30 years and I think the biggest challenge in computation finance is that models require you to read a lot, um, research a lot, discover a lot but whatever you dig up it is very difficult to translate that into a practical real world model that you could actually implement and deploy in Excel that would give you answers that you would work with um, and this has been a challenge for us for the last 30 years. So every time we'd had to build a model, we found that it was a nightmare to discover it, to translate it, to convert it, and then to calibrate it for the real world. And we thought we'd save the world a lot of pain by sharing what we've done. So if you need a model, you know, come to our site, take a look at what we have, and search for it. And if you find it, it's yours. It's, uh, you know, completely with a, a uh, implementation study guide that shows you how to go from the equation to the Excel model. Uh, Excel model template, uh, advice, guidance on implementation, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, so that's what we do. We build computation finance models for the real world. G. This is pitch number two, or B. Grade it. Be as blunt. Don't be generous. Be as blunt, as difficult, as awkward as you can be. Okay, so second round is a little better, but not too much of an improvement. And again, I think the biggest question. And the biggest challenge, let's, let's give it Pandra number, right? Um, better than zero, but not still not a passing grade. 
pitch two. This is C. One, two, three, go. Hello, my name is Zawad Ahmed Farid, and I build a computational finance model for the real world. Uh, modeling in the in the finance world is generally a transition from taking a bunch of complex partial differential equations and turning them into models that work in Excel and then comparing the results with what you've done uh, with results from the real world. And this has been a challenge because when you look at a partial differential equation, you find that uh, it leaves a lot out uh, that you have to dig out and identify for your own. And we've been doing this for the last 30 years for customers all across the world in Asia, in Middle East, in the Far East, in Africa, in North America, and in Europe. And our thought was that, you know, if we have to go through the same process, given our background, given our specialty, what happens to people who don't have this background and still have to build the models? Uh, and that's when we decided to put up a site that basically showcases all the work we've done. So come to the site, uh, look at what you search for, what you're looking for. If you find it, you'll find that you'll have a fairly detailed Excel guide, uh, Excel guide, uh, study guide that shows you how to build the model all the way from the partial differential equation. Uh, to the end, okay, and बिजली चली गई। वो सर बिजली चली गई। अरम साहब मैं क्या करूँ आपको? क्या बताऊँ? आप मैंने पूछा था ना कि आपके घर में बिजली कितनी थी वागई? तो कैसी निकाल अच्छा बच्चू? तुम्हें सजा देनी चाहिए। तुम फितना और साजिश फैला रहे हो दुनिया में, तो तुम्हारी बिजली काट देते हैं। That's what we done. अभी grade ना करें, let me, let me present again and then we can grade again, right? So, Salaam Ji, my name is Javad Ahmed Farid and I build models. Uh, in finance for the real world. Uh, in the world of finance, generally building a model requires you to start, first identify a partial differential equation um, or a PDE and then translate that equation into an Excel model, then compare the results of that model with the real world uh, and see if the model needs to be changed. And we've been doing this for the last 30 years. We've done this for customers all across the world, in the Far East, in Pakistan, in the Middle East, in Africa, in North America and in Western Europe. And what we saw with every single one of them, it was the same story. Identify the equation, the model, which is essentially a PDE, or the partial differential equation. Figure out how to translate that into Excel. Identify all the challenges, the problems, the tweaks, the hacks that need to be done. Uh, and then, you know, compare the results with the real world to see if the model needs to be changed. And we've done this again and again and again. So our thought was, you know, let's share it to the world. So if you need to build a model in a rush, come to a site, look for what you're looking for. And if you find it, um, you'll find that you'll get a detailed implementation guide that starts you from the beginning to the end, uh, Excel template and advice and guidance on how to implement the real world. That's what we do. Uh, models for the real world. Thank you. All right, that's the pitch. Great work. So grade it again between 0 to 60. Grade it quickly. Too technical. Yep. Too detailed. Redundancy, technical detail, PD a lot, plus Lumbi, Pandasasat. Very good. Shuru mein bought technicalities theme, but Okay, appeal why the chair if someone understands the PD application. That's pitch number C. So your best gauge of a pitch is not a VC. Your best gauge of a pitch is will I buy this product? Do I like this product? Do I see myself buying this product? This was a 35, so that's a mark improvement, right? But we still we still meandering around the Problem definition. What's the problem? The problem is, in the world of finance, uh, people often need to build models in a rush. Um, they have to pick up new concept in a rush. And generally, when they need to do this, their primary source is a paper or a textbook. And the paper and a textbook only gives them partial differential equations, either solutions or derivations. But it doesn't map, doesn't show, doesn't translate how that partial differential equation converts, translates, or moves into an Excel model. So there's a need in the world of finance for a product that creates, that prepares, that shares simplified Excel models and simplified implementations for complex financial models. And that's what we do. Okay? So that's the that's the problem. Who's the audience? Who are you building this product for? Yes, so you need to build this, you're building this product for those who need to make complex models quickly. Okay, but what, what, what do these people look like? Students and professionals, finance guys wearing suits, okay, very good. 
are they do they want it for free or do they want to pay for it if they want it for free you know how do you pay your bills what's in it for you are you doing this for allah waste they'll pay for it there's nothing on the market they'll pay for it if it's worth it fair enough any other ideas and suggestions on how do you make them pay for it so the problem is very clear right the problem is the world of finance so this is our pitch number 3 right this was pitch number b pitch number b was 20 out of 60 We are a bit more generous. Not an improvement. Now try, let's try pitch number C. Pitch number C is: My name is Jawad and Farid, and I work in the world of finance. In the world of finance, uh, is filled with models. A lot of these models are fairly complex, and when we try and implement those models, uh, we often find ourselves looking at a partial differential equation with no path, no way, no guide that shows how to take that partial differential equation and turn that into an Excel model. and there are a lot of models and there are a lot of partial differential equations so there is a need for a product that would take the most common complex models that we find in finance translate them into a simplified excel model um, possibly come with a study guide that actually shows you how to take that model and apply that to real world data and le- lead to real world insights and that's what we do uh, we build simplified study guides and excel models for complex financial models that exist all around the world and we do it faster we do it cheaper and we do it be- better and leaner than anybody else mission we're not crisp we sort of all over the place yeah there we go there aren't enough emotions so 35 or 60 right pitch number d so the first thing is you know you your appeal you need to get the content and the copy right once your content and copy is right only then can you get to a stage where you can work on your tone and delivery no but faster better and cheaper is very cliched right it's really really sad you must be able to if you've been doing it for a while you must be able to do it much much better okay so let's try pitch number d pitch number d my name is jawad and i've been building models since i was 13 years old and one thing that i've noticed in building models is that in the world of finance there are lots of lots of complex models and lots of lots of complex partial differential equations But the big challenge is nobody tells you how to take that partial differential equation and turn that into an excel model that works something that you can put to work tomorrow that's what we do we take complex pdes we turn them into models that you can use at work tomorrow and we show you not just how to build the model but how to work with that model how to extend it how to break it how to realize how where the situations in which that model will actually work the reason why we able to do this is because this is what we do at work um i didn't stop building models when i turned 21 i have been building models for the last 33 years and financialinkcourse.com is essentially the culmination of the last 30 years of my experience in cracking one model after another the sole reason the sole rationale for putting the site together was that i've gone through a lot of pain in trying to figure this thing out and i thought it would be useful to put together a guide for others who are following in my footsteps so that they they don't have to suffer the same pain that i did while trying to decipher this right that is pitch number d ab batai pitch number d how does pitch number d work so hashim how would you grade it because we've been using your grading scale right are we are we below 35 are we closer to 20 are we have we moved up a bit have we gone up have we gone down Okay now pitch number so again this is let's let's do a 34 out of 60 let's do pitch number e okay pitch number e right so now we doing this why because we want to give you a sense of what works and what doesn't work so when you start doing your own pitches you have a sense of how pitches work right that's the whole point of doing this exercise um so that you can use this experience this interaction this engagement and by using this internalize in your mind in your opinion you know how do pitches actually work in the real world okay pitch number e hello my name is jawad ahmed farid and i'm here to talk to you about modeling in finance um modeling in finance is essentially about taking a bunch of greek letters or equations or numbers and turning them into real numbers that work in the real world so anybody can build models right 
building model is not the problem. The problem is how do you make those models work in the real world? And I feel, and we feel, I think over the years, that if you've been building models for the real world, you qualified. If you've been building models for the real world for a very, very long time, you know, you can possibly do a better job of building models in the real world. So not a complete pitch, we're just, just trying to see if the sense makes sense. Is the direction makes sense. Qualified for what? Very good. So modeling is basically taking a bunch of Greek letters and numbers and turning them into numbers that work in the real world. And then as I think, who is it? Who said this? Uh, Asra said, right? Qualified for what? So how do you qualify that? How do you know a model works in the real world? So what's the qualification for models that work in the real world? So I think the, the primary pain point that we're trying to highlight and trying to address is, you know, there are many ways of saying you have to read a partial differential equation, which is actually a f mouthful of words. PD is shorter, but not everybody understands what a PD is. Um, but saying that modeling essentially in finance, in computational finance, modeling is essentially taking a bunch of Greek letters and turning them into, into real numbers that work in the real world. This is a simple and apt description for challenge that we all face. How do we take this PD and turn that into a model that works, right? Or essentially model that works, okay? So now, yeah, there we go, Mazia. Can you show your models make money? So pitch number E, pitch number E, we do a redo, a second pass on pitch number E. And pitch number E basically says, computational finance is essentially about taking a bunch of Greek letters and numbers and turning them into real numbers that work in the real world. Uh, models that work in the real world are models that don't blow up that don't leave holes in the ground, right? Um, and who are the people who are best qualified to build these models? People who've blown up and left holes in the ground. So we've been building models for the last 30 years and across those 30 years, we thought it would be useful to put together simplified implementations, study guides, Excel templates that you could extend to data that you're working with so that you don't have to go through the same pain that we went through, that you don't end up blowing up or leaving holes in the ground. What is wrong with this pitch? Okay, so we're still working on pitch number E, right? We're trying to see if we can make the pitch a little bit more crisp and a little bit more concise and a little bit more impactful, a little bit more punchier, right? My name is Jawad Ahmed Farid and I build models that work in the real world. Is that better? My name is Javad. Hi, my name is Javad Ahmed Farid and I build models that work in the real world. Um, why is that a big deal? Well, when you build models, the most common challenge in building models is basically taking a bunch of complex equations and turning them into models that people can understand. In most instances, simple models in Excel um, with maybe some documentation that shows and explains how the model works. So we've been doing this for 30 years and for 30 years, we've faced the same problem again and again and again. Um, how do we turn this complex equation, this complex model, this set of Greek symbols uh, into Excel models that work? And we thought it would be useful to essentially put together a resource that is a collection of everything we've done over the last 30 years and open it to the world. So if you know what you need to solve, all you need to do is come search for that specific topic or concept or the model see if we built it and if we built it you have a ready study guide and an excel template that you can put to work tomorrow battle tested in the real world because we built it we've used it worked it for customers clients all across the world so my name is Jawad Ahmed Farid I build models for the real world why is that such a big deal so that's the so what right why is that a big deal that's a so what why is that a big deal it's a big deal because modeling in the real world essentially requires us to take a bunch of Greek symbols or complex equations and turn them into Excel models that work. That can actually give you insights and decisions. Now, how do we know this? We know this because we've been doing this for the last 30 years. And across the last 30 years, you know, every single time we've come across a model, it's been the same story. How do I convert this into something that works? So we thought it would be useful to put together a resource that serves as a collection of models that we've built over the last three decades. 
And all you need to do is you come to a site, look for the model that you need, and if you've built it, it's yours. Um, it's yours because you know we've been we we've put it to work for customers. It's been battle tested across markets in Asia, Africa, North America, and Europe. So the theme now, if you think in terms of the statement, okay. So the statement is essentially models in the real world. Right, that's the theme or models that work in the real world. Why is that a big deal? It's a big deal because Greek symbols and equations. How are you qualified? We've been doing this for 30 years. And every single time we've done this, it's the same story all over again. You know, how do we turn this into something that works? So we thought it would be useful to share what we've done with the world. So if you need to build a model in a rush and you're figuring out, struggling with how to read Greek or Latin, all you need to do is come to the site and search. And if you've done it, it's yours. Complete with a study guide and an Excel template that shows you how to build this model in the next few hours, just in time. Sorry, next four hours, next few hours, next few hours just in time for your deadline models that work in the real world by people who work in the real world so that's the structure of your pitch right there you go that's the structure of your pitch. If you were to deliver this, what you'd basically, your talking points are essentially what? Hello, my name is Javad Ahmed Fareed. I and I build models in the real world. Uh, why is that such a big deal? It's a big deal because essentially uh, building models in the real world requires us to translate a bunch of Greek symbols or Latin numbers uh, into Excel models that you could put to work uh, in the real world. And how do we know they work in the real world? Is because they give you insights or decisions or analysis that is applicable in the real world. Uh, we've been doing this for the last 30 years and every single time we've done this, we've seen the same story all over again. How do we turn this into something that works? So we thought it would be useful to share with the world stuff that we built. Um, so if you need to build a model uh, and you have a deadline and you're struggling, we're trying to figure out how to make that PDE work, come to our site, search for the model, and if it's there, it's yours. Completely with a study guide and Excel template, stuff that you can put to work in the next few hours, right in time for your deadline. Models that work in the real world by people who work in the real world. Come on guys, grade it, grade it. What's the grade for pitch number E? It was just delivered. Hey, 40 is not bad. 40 is actually quite decent. Okay. So do you guys understand how the process works? This is not perfect. There's still need a lot of work. I think as you deliver, as you rehearse, as you practice, it'll get better, right? So for now, we've done it about six, seven times. Um, a final delivery, and let's call it pitch number E, right? Which is like a, sorry, pitch number EF, pitch number F. This is the final delivery, which we've done after, you know, rehearsing and practicing it for the last 30 minutes. <coughs> pitching, pitching, pitching. All right, okay. So, hello, my name is Javad Ahmed Fareed and I build models in the real world. Um, why is that a big deal? It's a big deal because modeling essentially requires us to translate a bunch of complex equations or Greek symbols, for lack of a better word, into models that work in Excel. Models that tell you what to do in the real world. Um, we've been doing this for the last 30 years and every single time it's the same story. Uh, when we want to build something in a rush for a customer or a client, it requires us to take a lot of data, a lot of material, lot of material, lot of papers, lot of research, lot of equations um, into stuff that works in Excel. And we thought, you know, it would be useful to share what we've done over the last three decades with the world. So if you need to build something in a rush, come to our site and search. And if it's there, it's yours, completely with a study guide and Excel template that you can put to work in the next few hours, right in time, actually much before your deadline. FinanceTrainingCourse.com, models that work in the real world by people who work in the real world. Thank you.
So that's your final delivery, right? That's your complete delivery after rehearsing it for the last 30 minutes. G. Grade it again. But is it still at 48 or does it break into the 50s? But that's practice, right? That's the whole point. That is practice. So with practice, with rehearsal, you get better. And once you have a script in front of you, once you have a script in front of you, okay, very good. So we've gotten the 50s, right? Once you have a script in front of you, or once you sort of practice delivery and rehearsal, you can sort of tweak it to a point where you're comfortable and happy with it. So now, it's your turn. <laughs> I've done my part, now it's your turn. And I get to score now. So again, the, when we say I get to score now, this is not the graded graded thing. We're just doing the scoring to give you a sense of how you're doing with respect to um, your pitches and where are the areas where you need to improve. Okay. So, and we'll go one by one, group by group. Uh, your choice if both members want to pitch in a group or only one member wants to pitch in a group. The scoring criteria and grading criteria is going to be the same which is the same criteria we've used here, which is problem definition, crisp, appeal, relevance, uh, and would I be, would I buy it, and voice of the customer. Are you guys ready? Six, so, so getting to 50 is easier, right? Um, 60 is gonna take some time. I think it's gonna take some more practice and some more rehearsal to get it done. You can't do it sort of like early in the morning by just deciding I'm going to do it now. I think now that we have, now you, now that we've gotten to 50, I think it'll take a bit of practice to get to 53, 54, 55 till you actually get to 60. Okay. It's an alphas likhe kam as right? And you're short of that love. But what do you do? Use, use filler words um, that don't add anything to the context, but you know, increase the word count. So unfortunately, you've been, we've all been, not you, we've all been taught to write like this, right from, you know, grade six. So up uh, university ke third year, ya fourth year, mein aage hai, and you've been doing this for the last, uh, let me see, char or do, uh, paanch lega lein, paanch or do, saat or do, no. Nine years you've been doing this, right? It's very difficult, very expensive habit to unlearn. Omit needless words. If the word adds no intelligence, Add, adds no meaning, adds no context, and just adds to the word count, remove it. Make every single word count. That's where the punchiness, the crispness, the sharpness of your pitch comes from, by removing extra words. And which is the reason I'm saying, it's not enough for you to record the audio, it's very important for you to read through the script and write the script, read through the script, and remove every single extra. I am saying Barbara, come on Twitter. Come on Twitter. Start tweeting. Why? Because Twitter enforces you, forces you to say something meaningful in less than 250 characters. 